There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series. If you like defensive football, this is the game for you. Let's call this game Defense Owns the Day. Nina came into the game 8-3 but was peaking. South was 11-0 and coming off a playoff win versus Madison East. We showed that game in last year's Classic Series. The ending of this game was classic as head coach Dave Pfeiffer pushed all the right buttons and got his Red Wings into position to win the game. Chris Wright is my partner and does his usual great job of analyzing the action. Now it's time to get a soda and a bowl of popcorn and to sit back and enjoy the game. High School where the Red Wings are getting ready to play the Nina Rockets in what could possibly be the biggest high school football game in Sheboygan history. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin and joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, Nina comes in 8-3, and three, South 11-0, but Nina's been on a roll. Yeah, they are and uh, they're doing it all behind a young man by the name of Alex Little. He's running back 1,900 yards this year and the last three weeks or four weeks he's averaging over 200 yards a game, so that's going to be the focus of tonight's game. I'm going to ask you a question you may not know the answer to, but is he the best running back South has faced all year? Every time somebody comes into this place, Marty, they say this is the best guy, and uh, I don't know. We're going to have to find out and see. I'm sure Coach Hine has got things all focused, and I don't believe that he really thinks that there's a running back that can uh, beat his defense. His defense will be up to the test, and it seems like a, a broken record. I've been thinking as I drove over here tonight, you know, it seems like every week, we, you know, it's, it's the pressure on to stop the run, and can you run, and today's no different. Now, they have a quarterback, Adam Bahrain, and uh, he likes to throw the ball about 10 or 11 times a game, but he's not a really good quarterback. No, I think we talked about it earlier. I think just six touchdowns and 16 interceptions, so he's susceptible to the interception, which, you know, again, it holds well for the defense, which means they're going to try to run the ball on, on South which the last couple weeks has been so tough for the South defense. Sometimes we like to come into these openings and talk about the differences in the two ball clubs, but really this game tonight, the teams are very, very similar. Tough defenses and a running game. Yeah, like we've been saying it for weeks, you know, to be a good football team in high school, you got to be able to run the football and you got to stop the run, and it's no different today. Whichever team does a better job of doing that, it's the case. We don't want to see any big plays for Nina, but on the other hand, let's really get that running game for South going, which has been so good last week in Madison East. The meat did all the work, the offensive line, and Eric Donovan had another big game. One of the things that South broke out last last week was their option game. Do you think they'll do that again this week? <laughs> Who knows? It seems, you know, we talk about it, Marty, and you made a good point last week. Any team that comes in to play South, it seems like every week Coach Pfeiffer has something different to put in there, and, you know, the mid-option really worked against Madison, but, you know, we, you, you you really hit it on the head last week. They've, they've thrown the ball well. They they run the, the uh, pitch option. They, they dive. They run to the outside. Uh, uh, Jacob Pfeiffer hitting the tight ends worked. I mean, so there's a lot of things for Nina to worry about tonight, and that bodes well for South. I'm not really that smart, people. <laughs> We're going to step out and take a short break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's historic football game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. We're back at South High School. Let's run through the starting defense for Nina. Number three, Brett Burkholst is a 5'10", 155-pound senior. will be starting at a defensive back. Number five, Eric Bramer. We'll be starting at a defensive back. He's a 5'10 senior going 155 also. At a linebacker is Brett Engeland. He's a six foot junior, 195. Blaine Hornis is a uh, linebacker. He's a senior, 5'11, 210 pounds. He'll also be starting at fullback. Number 11, Tom Dorr, will be a defensive end. He's a 6'3 senior, goes 205 pounds. 
Number 22, Andrew Burr, a defensive back. He's a senior, goes 5'11", 180. Number 27, Michael Goltz, will be at linebacker. He's a senior, goes 6 feet, 195. Number 35, John Kramer, a linebacker. He's a junior, 6'1", 205. Number 48, Bill Hahn, is a defensive end. He's a senior, 5'11", 195. Number 68, Joshua Robinson is in the defensive line. He's a senior, 6'2", 220. Number 73, Andy Hertz is a defensive lineman. He's a senior, 6'1", 275. And uh, that rounds out the starting defense for Nina. They're announcing them right now. Let's go through the starting offense for Sheboygan South. Number three, Tim Stubbe will be at quarterback. He's a 5'7", 155 senior. At split end is Travis Wilson. He's a senior, 6'6", 180, number 19. Number 23, Eric Donoval is a six foot senior, 190. He'll be their feature back. You'll see him carrying the ball a lot today. Number 26, Jake Billman is a six foot junior. He's 185, he'll be starting at fullback. Starting at center is number 50, Dan Milans. He's a senior, 5'10", 200 pounds. At a tackle, number 58, Justin Lamers. He's a senior, 6'1", 295. At a guard is Kyle Fredericks, number 60. He's a senior, 6'4", 265. Number 63, John Lindsay is a junior. He's 6'3", 270, he'll be at a guard. And at the other tackle spot is number 76, Trevor Klobacek. A 6'5", senior goes 250 and a lot of meat in the middle of that line there. You get a great shot of Jacob Pfeiffer uh, getting a drink. Uh, starting at a wide receiver is number 82, Danny Teller. He's a 6'3", senior, goes 175. And there you see him in your picture, starting at tight end. He'll be also starting on the defense is Jacob Pfeiffer, number 99. He's a 6'3", senior, and he goes 255. You get a good shot of uh, Jacob Nolter, number uh, 75. No, Paul Phil up there. Okay, my bad. A lot of excitement in the air, Marty. The stands are just electrified. You know, everybody's excited. Players are excited, coaches are excited, everybody's excited, but you gotta remember, number one, they're just kids, and number two, you gotta settle, settle the boys down and remember, stay focused what you have to do here. There's, it's uh, new territory for Sheboygan South, that's for sure, uh, playing a game here, and they'll, they'll get the kickoff right away, Marty. Alex Beyer is the uh, kicker for Nina. Back deep is Donoval and Miller. Little onside kick, it's gonna take a south bounce, and I think that was uh, Matt Fister came up and, and got it. Recovered it, south is gonna have great field position, and uh, Nina, you know, when they do something like that, Chris, that tells me they think they might have some trouble. Well, I don't know about that, Marty, but you know, I just said about the excitement, sometimes you don't think about, that's good thinking for south right off the bat. Remember your rules to stay for an uh, onside kick right away at, at first, and uh, that was good decision there by Matt Fister, and this gives South good field position, and playing at home, I kind of like this, this situation. First and 10 at the 41. Wilson in motion. He handed off to Donovan in the middle, he scoots by one tackler, and then he's pushed back after maybe a two or a three yard gain. Looked like there was a little opening, but uh, Nina filled it quickly. Well, you said it in the intro, uh, big focus here for Nina is number 73, Andy Arts, 6'1", 275. He's gonna clog up that middle, and uh, it's gonna be up to the meet to, to know where he is and push him around. He's a big fella right up in the at defensive tackle, and they're gonna move him from side to side. Wilson split off to the left, Teller off to the right, and uh, Pfeiffer is the tight end on the left side. Stubby straight, straight drop back and uh, fires it out to a Teller on a slant pass, but it was a little bit behind Danny and he wasn't able to make the adjustment. It's an incomplete pass. Well, if you're with the uh, South squad there, you notice there was a big opening there, so maybe they can use that later on. Well, the defensive backs seem to be pretty far off the wide receivers and a uh, good call. He had a shot of uh, Dave Pfeiffer and Jim Renzelman alongside of him. Two tight ends, Lancer's in at the uh, tight end spot. Nina jumps offside. Stubbe must have gave him a little uh, cadence variation and uh, Nina bit on it. 
Well, I was watching earlier, Marty. It looked like their end was jumping just when the guys for South were going in motion. So they're a little anxious as well, but that's a nice little game. We'll take the free five here and shorten us up to make it a third and three, third and four. And uh, Coach Pfeiffer sends in a new play and adds Will Hartman to the uh, assault. Hartman uh, normally in this set is the up back and he is. He's at the fullback spot. And again, it's a two tight end set. Wilson is wide left. Hand off to uh, Hartman up the middle. A good push by the interior line. He has the first down. That penalty was huge. Nice to get that first first down. And better yet, you're in the Nina territory already. Ball is spotted on the 48th of Nina. That makes it a four yard pickup. I'll tell you that. Uh, Penalty is huge. Just so it can change the whole whole theory of uh, play calling. You got that right. Two wide outs to the right. Hand off to Donovan. He's through the line. He barrels through and he's down to the 41. Good quick. Oh, that was Hartman, pardon me. Good quick cutback by Will. Donovan was a wide out to the uh, left side. Pick up a six yards on the play. Uh, usually when we see uh, Hartman carry the ball, it's uh, pretty much straight ahead. Uh, that time he put a little uh, juke into his uh, running style. Okay, Donovan is uh, the slot back on the right side. Hartman is the lone setback. Stubby straight back. He's got his man Teller open. Pass goes right through the hands of Danny Teller. A little bit on the high side, but uh, Danny probably thinks he should have had that. I could have, I was thinking the same thing, Marty. I thought he might have had that too, but uh, again, they're playing so far back, as you said, Marty, you can put that ball right in there, and that was, was the play call there, and a good call, but again, got to execute that. Going to call this third and four and make it a long four, as last time it looked like uh, a shorter four. Second down, ball on the 42. Fake handoff, Stubbe on a cutback and a nice shoestring tackle made by, I didn't catch the number of that Nina kid, but uh, he saved a big gainer. Well, it's decision time now, Marty. We've got fourth and one. South is sending in wow. Tony Anthony Hoytink to uh, do the punting. Nina gives you the short field and they stop you. We're going to send a defense out right away. Low line drive kick takes a nice bounce and then it's down at about the 14. Ben Miller wishes you to let it roll a little bit further. Not but much. as it is, uh, Nina is going to have it deep in their own territory. Oh, and they should be happy. They got the stop there. We have to watch number two, Alex Little, 1,932 yards, and Coach Pfeiffer compares him a lot to uh, Eric Donald. There's Coach Hine. It's his job of the defense to get the boys ready. Lots of hours of film the last couple weeks for the South staff. Here we go, first and 10. Little is a deep back, fires in motion. Hand off to Little, he tries to cut back and he's hit and dropped at about the 20. Five yard pickup. Well, he just kind of glides in, it's a smooth running style. Second down and five. Nina comes in at eight and three, six and three in conference. They've beaten Middleton and Appleton West so far. Lorraine barking off the signals. Pitch out to Little, looking for the outside. He gets the corner, and he's through and pushed out of bounds outside the 25-yard uh, line. He a little move to the inside, and all of a sudden he was round to the outside. Uh, South uh, just didn't have the speed to catch him. Nope, and uh, first down for Nina. Ball spotted on the 27. Seven-yard pickup. He has 12 yards already. 
Little does. Wide outs left and right for Nina. Hornacy up back. Pitch out, Chang piling through, oh. and they fumble. South has it. Steve Chang making a great play, busted the play up. I believe he caused the fumble, and South has it. Well, Steve Chang, our interview last week after the Madison game, had just an outstanding game last week with the blitz and the run blitz in there. Got through the middle, caused a turnover, and South now inside the 25, so the de defense stood up despite the, the first down there. Here you're going to see the replay. Watch number two. Boom! <laughs> number 42 is right there. That's the kind of hit you're not used to seeing in the Fox Valley Association. Handoff inside, no, Bill uh, Stubbe has it, cuts back. He's down inside the 15-yard uh, line. He's got a first down. I'll tell you, he had me faked out. I think he had you too, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty good at watching his fakes, and uh, no, he's had it, but he had me faked. I'm watching Bill Benton as he's piling on. People are piling, piling on him, and there's Tim Stubbe, who had just an outstanding uh, game the other day, gaining over 100 yards against Madison East. Scoots through there, and a first down inside the 15, Marty. At the elephant backfield with uh, Billman and Pfeiffer in front of uh, Donovan. Fake handoff inside. Subi's got it. He cuts back. He's inside the five, or no, just outside, inside the 10, pardon me. Five yard pickup for Stubby. I really like this, Marty. We've talked about this before. Uh, anytime you can get a first down inside the five, and that's what South can do here. So it's second and five from, you know, just Actually, outside. you're going to give him a four-yard gain, wow. Chris. I thought he was over the 10, too, but uh, real short yardage here. Can get a first down. Again, elephant backfield. Hartman is the up back. Fake handoff to him. Stubbe keeps it. Muscles his way up inside the 10. Straight to number 20, Will Hartman. Stubbe keeps the ball again. Set up. They got him set up, Marty. Here comes the option. Yeah, really. Outside, or the quick pitch. Now let's see them use that speed to the outside. They got him set up. Let's see if Coach Pfeiffer calls it. We're going to call it uh, third down and about uh, four. Maybe a little shorter than that. Hand off to Hartman. No, no Stubby kept keeps it, and he's down at about the five-yard line. You know they're going to four straight carries by Stubby. Yeah, and they're going to call him where he got his knee, not where the ball was, and so they're going to place it about the five, Marty. So it's going to be fourth and one, and decision time for Coach Pfeiffer. I don't agree with that spot there. Where's that ball spotted? The five, outside the five. It's not where his knee is; it's where the ball is. Well, we got a timeout by uh, Sheboygan South with uh, 6.36 remaining in the first quarter. No score. We'll be right back. For others, it may have just been a summer job. But for me, it was training. Now I'm an Air Force pararescueman, and my job is to save lives. Make the right choices today and be ready for the challenges tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. South High and just a huge crowd. The, the south side, the bleachers are totally full. From uh, the south side of the bleachers all the way to the north side. Nothing but people. Uh, and they're sitting even in the uh, aisles where you walk up and down. And uh, the other side of the field, not quite as full, but here we go. Fourth down and one. Hartman is the lone setback. We got wideouts all over the place for South. Hand off to Hartman. He's hit at the line of scrimmage. He reaches forward for the five-yard line. Ball's got to be down. It's not a fumble. It's a matter of where they spot it. And he's getting a bad mark again. They're gonna, if they go to this side, he's got... That's a horrible mark again. Well, to Nina's credit, they did bottle up the original uh, hole and uh, Hartman tried to bounce off to the right and uh, was bottled up. Did not get the first down. Watch where the ball goes here, Marty. It's gonna be across the five. 
Here's Bile. Now watch. He's way across the five. Oh, well. First and ten, Nina. Ball is spotted right on the five-yard line. Little is the deep back. They give it to him. He tries to cut it back, spins off. He's going to be hit in the backfield and driven back. They'll probably give him forward progress at the five-yard line. And uh, the officials taking control right away. They're telling South to get back on your left side of the line of scrimmage. A little had uh, 12 yards in the first two carries. The last two carries, he's got a minus two. So he's sitting with 10 yards and four carries so far. Second down at 10. George looking to blitz. He comes. And off little breaks it loose. He's over the 15 yard line, he's gonna have a first down, picked up some pretty good blocks up front and then cut it back. Flag down though, Marty. Officials time out. So uh, see what the man in the white hat has to say. Holding on, Nina. Ooh, that's a good break for uh, South. That came from the far official too, so that's kind of that wasn't even on his side of the field. So uh, you're right, that was a break for South, and that'll pin Nina inside the five, setting up a second and real long here. Well, they're going to spot it back at about the two-yard line. So it'll remain second down, but it'll be second and twelve. We'll say this is Alex Little has a lot of a lot of little speed there. Yeah, he's very quick. Uh, we thought the uh, Abu Amara was pretty quick, but uh, Little is taking a little bit uh, to the next level. Yeah, and uh, that long kid from uh, Notre Dame just yeah. gets quicker than that. All righty. Second down and 12. Nina backed up to the two-yard line. Moraine uh, Long gives it off to Little. He cuts it back, and he's hit and dropped. Making a tackle out there. Pfeiffer. Was uh, Pfeiffer. Got him by the shoestrings. Third down. Well, this is what you want here. Third and a long way. Let's see if Nina's going to put the ball up here. I would think not, Chris. It's third down and 10. Ball just short of the six yard line. Cover, or coverage on these uh, two wideouts to the left. Little hands it again. He's not going to get the first down. He's pushed back, jets it over the 10 yard line. So the uh, Nina punter should not have to be crowding the end line. It'll be fourth down and about uh, five yards to go. Donovan back deep. He's in Nina, in South Territory at about the 48. Good snap. Kick is away by Bayer. Not a real good kick, but does take a good roll for Nina. It's going to go out of bounds at about the 49, 46 yard line. South is going to have real good field position. Well, they've had it all night, Marty, and have yet to put any points on the board. Just three minutes left, but. Uh one punt and then they had a golden opportunity but uh, failed to get any points when they're inside the uh, 10 yard line but right away they're back out there again. Today we have kind of a west wind too Marty and it's blowing a little bit. Not as bad as at Madison though. Yeah really. Hey, Billman is back in at fullback. Donovan remains the tailback. Fake handoff. Stuby rolling. Fires it out. Complete to uh, Billman, and he's got it down inside the uh, 40 to about the 37 or 38 yard line. Well, once again, you got uh, every coach's dream, second and short. Ball at the 38 yard line, pickup of eight yards on the play. That was uh, Stubbe's first completion of the night. 
Yeah, that and he had to roll the opposite way. That's a tough play for any young man. Wilson is wide to the right. Teller is wide left. Donovan is the deep back. Hand off to him. He's off tackle. He's got room to run. Bounces to the outside, and he's pulled out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. Nice run by Eric Donovan. And good blocking up front. Yeah, I want him to work that outside. I wish he would have done that a little more on the last drive, but that's where you get him out there with all that speed, and he's so strong with those legs. It's tough to get him down. A nice gainer there by Eric Donovan. First down at 10, ball spotted at the 29-yard line. Here we go. Two tight end sets, Stuby straight back. Fires it out. Short hops, the intended receiver, Danny Teller. Well, they're trying to loosen up the defense, Chris, by uh, you know, throwing periodically, you gotta do that, but uh, it'd be nice if you could make, complete a pass and uh, really make them respect it. Well, so far the line's been real strong, giving Tim time, but he's just not been on, on the page with the receivers. Uh, the receivers seem to be open. We just gotta deliver it to him, and a uh, little slow start for Tim Stewie, but he'll get rolling. Lancer's the tight end on the right, Pfeiffer's on the left. Wilson is the lone wideout, and uh, Donovan is hit behind the line of scrimmage. He's gonna be hit and dropped at the 30, a loss of one. Well, they had just about everybody up on that box there. There was no place for any back to go. I don't, uh, I don't think Amon Green would have gotten through that little line there. Teller comes back in. We have a one back set. Billman is the lone setback. Donovan is the slot on the right side. Stuby straight back. He's being blitzed. He's not going to get around that defensive end. Making a good stop for Nino was Tom Dore, the defensive end. Came in there untouched. Well, I think he was barely touched. <laughs> Marty, uh... But, uh, he might have kicked himself in the knee. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, they did not hold the line there, and uh, you don't see Tim Stewie sacked too often. But uh, you know, I thought that uh, Green Bay East did a really good job of wrapping him up in that ball game. Hoytank's kick is away. A little bit of a line drive taken by the uh, receiver for Nina. Little. And he's hit and dropped, uh, making the stop was Ben Hendricks at about the 18-yard uh, line. And Alex Little does it all. Kick return, punt return. Yeah, I'll tell you, you want to get his, if you're Nina, you want to get him the ball as much as possible. Ball is spotted on the 18-yard uh, line. It's going to be first and 10. They've been playing the whole game on Nina's side of the field, but South has no points to show for it. We're at 137 remaining in the first quarter. Two wide receivers off to the left. And off again to Little, bounces to the outside, spins, and uh, gets it outside the 20-yard line. It's a little PlayStation, you know, you flick that thing and yep. it kind of does a little spin. That's what uh, Alex Little likes to do. Yep, and uh, give him four-yard pickup. Nothing to this little uh, offense of Nina. They have one job, and that's to uh, block for number two, it seems like. Second down. Different look, but watch out. It's gonna be the same, same, same uh, script here. Inside handoff to uh, Hornis, and uh, he's bottled up. <clears throat> Not much for that uh, young man. Give him a little different look. It's gonna be third down and six. <clears throat> Give Hornis a pickup of one. It's going to be third down and five. And a wide receiver off to the left. Brett Burkholz, number three. Wide receiver off to the left. And Little is a deep back. Look for him to get the ball. So much time. That's the uh, 16 seconds remaining in the first quarter. It's not the end of the quarter. And it is going to be too much time on Nina.
Third down and 10, ball back at the, uh, just about the original line of scrimmage, back at the 18. Uh, you might want to loosen up. Well, you can't really loosen up too much because Little could get that 10 yards just like that. Wide receiver in motion, Saul shifting on the defensive line. Pitch out to Little. There's going to be a penalty, and Little's going to be hit and dropped back at about the 16-yard uh, line. I think there's going to be another. Uh, up it is, holding on Nina. Interesting here if they're going to decline it or oh, take yeah. an extra 10. No, you want to decline this and get the ball. You're not going to get the full 10 yards anyway. You get a great shot at Chris Hine. And uh, you know, I was thinking this as we were doing the opening. You know, there are certain times you know, when you got to play a good offense like Nina has with a great running back, and you just feel real secure in the south defense because you know Chris Hine is behind it. Yeah, and he's a good one. They've done well all year, but... Uh, you just don't want that big play. I know I said it in the opening, you don't want to give up a big play, and that Alex Little has that capabilities of breaking one open, especially if he gets on well, the outside. Well, Mara had that 54-yarder in the East game, which led to, I believe, that was their first half touchdown. And that's the end of the quarter. At the end of one, no score here at uh, South High Field. We'll be back after a short break and uh, start second quarter action. Hi, I'm David Collins, Superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. We're Brewers fans. Brewers fans are the best fans in baseball. We live responsibly because we always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Fans don't let fans drive drunk. Brewers fans don't let fans drive drunk. Respect, Respect the road and buckle up. Every trip, every time. Responsibility has its rewards. Go, Go Brewers. Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Go Brewers! Snap is made, the kick is away. Donovan has it at the 47, trying to get to the outside, gets a block, cuts it back in, and he's hit and dropped at about the 40-yard line. Good blocking up front. One of the, one of the men up there was uh, Adam Math. Be first and 10 south, and they continue to have just excellent field position. This time they're going to be starting in the 39 at the 39 yard line. You got to take advantage of this, guys. Wide receivers left and right. Wilson on the left, Teller on the right. Donovan's the deep back. Handoff inside. No, they faked it to uh, Billman. Stuby kept it and got it down inside the uh, 40 to about the 38. Only a maybe a one yard gain at best. Nina doing a great job of uh, limiting Saul's long gainers. Yeah, Her, uh, first round gain against Middleton. They we, uh, held them to just 48 yards on 37 uh, plays. So uh, they've been doing a, quite a good job. And so far, they've done a good job against South. Stubbe sends Billman in motion, then he handed coming back to uh, Donovan. He's through the line of scrimmage. He's going to have a first down. He's out of bounds inside the 30. Uh, good little misdirection. Billman went off to the right in motion, then they came back with uh, Donovan on the carry to the left. Ball is at the 28 yard line, 10 yard pickup for Eric Donovan. And a good call by Coach Pfeiffer, too. Misdirection, exactly right. Uh, change of pace a little bit to throw Nina off a little bit and uh, good block by Danny Teller downfield and a uh, big first down. Two tight ends set. Wilson is the lone wide out. Fake handoff, Stubby straight back. Looks up the middle, his pass is complete by Pfeiffer. He's inside the five, barreling into the end zone, touchdown. And you're not gonna stop that big truck right down the field there, Marty. Jake up Pfeiffer with a great catch and run down the field. Great call again by coach Dave Pfeiffer. I like when they use Jacob out there, and that was a good play. I'll tell you, you hit the nail right on the head, Chris, when you said great catch, because that DB cut right in front, and uh, Pfeiffer had to fight through his hands and then make the snag, and he did just that. Mr. Automatic in to uh, attempt the extra point, Brent Freaky. Stubbe is the holder. With uh, 10.58 remaining, South is broken through with a 28-yard touchdown pass. Stubby to Pfeiffer. Extra point is a little bit low, and it's blocked. 
So South has the lead, six to nothing. From Maine to Maui, thousands of high school students across the country are getting in on the action by volunteering in their communities. Action teams of high school students are joining Volunteers of America and Major League Baseball players to help train and inspire the next generation of volunteers. It's easy to start an action team at your school, so you too can get in on the action. Are you in? Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Back at South High School, where uh, South has just scored on a 28-yard touchdown pass. Go ahead, Chris. I was just going to say, Brent Freaky probably with a little few nerves there because uh, not a good approach, and uh, as you said, a little low, and that's why it got blocked. And uh, you know, like you said, I said before, they are just kids, and this is a big game, and playing in front of a big place, and sometimes you forget they're young men. But uh, you got to do what you've been doing every day at practice and all year. Kick is away. Short hopped by uh, the Nina receiver, and he's hit and dropped hard by Ben Miller. Well, that was little. Oh, what else? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you think you'd expect a little more, but uh, Miller said, no way, buddy. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, uh, he gets a lot of carries and a lot of touches, and that's got to wear as the day goes on, and uh, hopefully South will continue to uh, uh, make his stay here in Sheboygan a little more painful and uh, wear on him a little bit. Well, Nina's starting with their greatest, best field <laughs> position of the game, back at the 20. <laughs> well, it's like you've been saying, you know, you got to prevent the big play, and uh, Little's the kind of back that uh, all of a sudden, you know, he's sitting with 70 yards instead of only, what did he have in the first half, nine, first quarter, 19. Hornis in motion, they pull it in, and he comes back the other way, but uh, Saul stays home and uh, did a good job of defensing. Boy, you could see that. Hornis go off to the left. The lineman, the guard, I think it was, pulled off to the right, and uh, they came back, a little misdirection play. And that could be filmed, too. Maybe you, we see something in film that they might run something like this, and uh, that's good for players to listen to their coaches and listen for tendencies, and there you may have seen it. Um, a good read by the South defense. Here we go, second and eight. Little is a lone setback, Hornis in motion again. And a pitch out going left, student body left, Hornis is hit and dropped, making a great play out there. Was Steve, no, I think that was uh, Matt Fister, number 30. Now third and five here, Marty. Nina has yet to put the ball up, correct? That's correct. Third down and five ball right on the 25 yard line. Uh, Nina is not throwing it all. They do have wide receivers left and right. Off to the right is uh, Brandon Rogers. In motion is Hornis. Now he comes back. Fake handoff, they're gonna throw it out and just incomplete. Hornis, the fullback, was the intended receiver, but Bahrain's pass was just out of his reach, and that was the first pass attempt by Nina. Yeah, and he had to get rid of it kind of quickly, and it was kind of an awkward little pass because South had the pressure there, and that was a good safe pass, but just not executed, and defense holds again, and uh, South should get relatively good field position once again. I think it's Miller this time is back, and he's drifting back just a little bit. He's just outside the 40 at the 41. Good snap, boot is away. Miller's gonna have a chance to return this. He's got it. He's at the 50, bounces, trying to get to the outside, and he's gonna be dropped at the 49 yard line. Don't stick the ball out. <laughs> you don't need that extra yard at midfield. Just keep the ball. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What are you thinking of? Well, I'm just trying to help, coach. <laughs> don't help that much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the ball. You mean you're not at the end zone, man? <laughs> Keep the ball. <laughs> every every half yard counts. Well, once again, they're in uh, needed Great. territory. Great shot by Brian Andrews. Andy McKillop up on top. Scott Miloff spinning the dials in the truck. Gary Coulter taking the uh, Friday night off. Same cast of characters. Fake handoff to Donovan. Stubby drops back, firing it deep down the field. It's going to be picked off and slipping away from uh, Teller. 
and slipping away from Lancer is that receiver or, or defender from Nina, and he's finally dropped. He fumbles the ball. Burkholz. South Burkholz made the interception. This is going to be a weird call because there's a penalty flag down. So it'll be interesting if it's pass interference against which team. It's against uh, South. Yeah. You can see Wilson trying to grab the receiver to get position. Uh, Nina player is down. So I would think that... I'm not even sure if South got possession of the ball back on that fumble. I don't think no. they did. No, and it was pass interference on South. And so... Uh, we have a young man down. Here's the replay. Good call by the official. Slips one. Burkhold makes a good run. Slips another one. And uh, you're going to see him fumble right here. Boink. Oh, boy. Number 50, uh, Danny Milan's had a chance to get it, but didn't. And uh, Nina's got their first break of the game uh, and are in South Territory. Let's take a short break, Scott, and we'll come back. Hopefully that uh, young man will be able to walk off the field. I just really think you should go by yourself next time. I can't leave you here alone by yourself. I was alone there. What difference does it make? If a chronic illness is driving you apart, call one 800 344-4867 because a healthy relationship matters. Little is the uh, deep back. Bayer was the man who uh, got hurt. Bahrain's pass to the wide receiver. Brandon Rogers goes in complete. He faked the handoff to Little and then dropped straight, dra straight back and uh, just overshot his receiver. Great play action pass there. Good fake there and uh, if you're going to catch South off the turnover, that was their intent there, and go deep, and you know, as much as they run, you know, you get safeties like Ben Miller sneaking up, and that time they ran by him, and you know, that might set up uh, and give you a little space later on, especially for your run game, and now Ben's way back. Rogers and Burr, Burr goes in motion, are wide outs to the right, Little is the lone, is the setback, the deep back, fake handoff, Bahrain gets by, Majorly throws it deep to Rogers and it's incomplete. Rogers had a step on uh, Andy Sheehan. There you see Andy coming back. Stay away from uh, Coach Hine. And uh, Mike Coach Rank there too. Uh, Majorly had a good shot at uh, Adam Bahrain, but uh, let him slip away. Yeah, Ben, but don't break. We don't want to give up the big play there. Good pressure by South, and again, good play action, and kind of froze the linebackers for a second, except for Major Lee. Third down and 10. Again, it's uh, Burr and uh, Rogers split out to the right. Little is the uh, deep back, and Hornis is the uh, up back. Blitz by South. Bahrain's hit as he releases, and the ball goes incomplete, and uh, he got leveled pretty hard. Making the hit was the man, Will Hartman. Well, they came with an outside blitz, and uh, he never saw it, and he's shaking up that young man as well. Having trouble getting up. Coming off the field for uh, South is uh, Paul Philwitt. Going to go a little more speed now. This is a case where uh, that interception changes the whole course of the... Uh, field position situation. It's fourth and 10. Ball on the 40. Nina punting again. Their second punt of the quarter. We're at 8.32 and counting. Miller getting away from it. It's a short punt and gives takes a south roll. It's going to be down outside the 20-yard line. Wow. That, wasn't, that was about an 18-yard punt. Yeah, carry them the, the wrong way. You know, you said the stands, but there you can see they are three or four people at the fences as well. There's there's a lot of people here. And, um, I believe that was Tom Etzen, the former South principal. Yep, I think that's who that was. Went so fast there, but uh, lots and lots and lots of people, and it's just great to see here and support uh, the team here. Ball spotted on the 23-yard line. Elephant backfield for South. Hand off to Donovan and uh, Nina. Good play. They're going to stop Donovan for a loss of one. 
Boy, how many times have we seen a loss of one with the elephant backfield in there, Coach? I don't think ever. No, Nina is really swarming. All the way around it is uh, just full of supporting here. People uh, here, we just an Elite Eight game. Also, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, voting for the referendum, which will be exciting. We got an announcement we got to read. <laughs> you can do that, Coach. Uh, Pfeiffer takes off a little too soon. Oh. Stubby's on the loose, but this play will be uh, called back. Stubby heads out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Uh, Pfeiffer from his tight end position jumped in motion and uh, it'll be no play there. You see the yellow hanky. Penalty on south. Tack on the five to the 11 they already need and it's gonna be second down and 16. Ball will be back at the 17 yard line. Oh, no big mistakes. Well, if you gotta punt it out of there, because you can't get the first down, that's all right. Just don't uh, turn it over. It's too bad that was a big gainer too. That was a big play. Fake handoff, pitch out to Donoval, gets by him and he falls on it back inside the 10 yard line. Good play call. Execution didn't work very well again there and uh, now you got third a mile. Third down and about 25. That play is gonna work later, Marty. Well, we certainly hope so. Third down and a bunch. Handoff. Uh, no, Stubby kept it, faked the handoff, and uh, goes for uh, no gain. It's going to be fourth down. Well, now South will be uh, punting out of their end zone here. Anthony Hoytink is back deep. They're sending uh, eight. Kick is away by Anthony. Gets a good one. It turns over. Little cuts it right up. He's going to have a pretty good gain here. Oh, he's hit and dropped by Hartman at the 40-yard line. Also in there was uh, Jonathan Valdez. I'll tell you what, Alex Little took a hit by Will Hartman and he's not going to be coming in. I, you know, I say sometimes you put those guys back there and you need them for other things. And uh, I'll tell you what, now he's out of the game. That's the second time now he's gotten his bell rung pretty good. Well, wide to the left is Brandon Rogers, number four. He's uh, been able to get behind the defense. They haven't been able to get him the ball, however. Handoff right up the middle to uh, Julius Huffman, and uh, Huffman gets a pretty good chunky yardage. Was that 10, Hornis? Yep. Okay. Oh, with Little out of the game, they go with their fullback. Awesome. Hornis has uh, two carries for uh, nine yards at uh, this last carry went for eight. Second and two ball on the 33. Hornis, the lone setback. Hand off to Hornis. He's up, got first down yardage before he's finally pushed back inside the 30. Dragon South tacklers with him as well. Yeah, he's a little different element than uh, Little. He's not doesn't have the quickness, obviously, but he does have the size. Little's back in, Marty. Yeah, he didn't like that Hornet scanning all those yards. <laughs> I don't blame him. Well, Nina's taking advantage of the territory that they were given here, and now they're inside the 30, and South D is going to have to stiffen up here. First and 10 ball on the 28-yard line. Little lone setback. In motion is Dorr. Little trying to bounce, he's not gonna go far. 
went to where the hole was supposed to be, but it was totally bottled up. And when he tried to bounce to the inside here, he got a good shot of Will Hartman. There was nowhere to go. So, uh, oh, Phil out there, boggling it up. Yeah, we'll give Little a gain of one at best. Second down and nine. Nina has great field position. We're at 435 and counting of the first of the second quarter. It's six to nothing south. Third round of the WIA football playoffs. Little has it, bounces to the outside once, twice, and he's not gonna go far. He's dropped maybe a gain of one again. Uh, Saul stringing it out. Ben Miller over there. Matter of fact, he gets no yards, Chris. Well, Matt Fister was there, and then juke moved there by Alex Litter and almost got, you know, uh, the bite of Fister, but then, as you said, it strung it out, and Ben Miller came up there and got a third long situation. There's a case where team speed on defense really helps because, you know, all of a sudden he jukes to the inside. You still have that speed to cover the outside, and... Uh, South does a great job of that. Third down and nine. Let's see if they long, use the long side of the field. Big handoff. We'll give it to the uh, wide receiver and drop for a loss is Brett Burkholz. Burkholz did a good run on the interception return, but uh, South didn't give much that time on the reverse. David George stayed home. They tried to use the long field, but there was nowhere for him to go. That play just was too slow to develop. And uh, David George knows his rules and stayed in there and forcing another Nina punt. Here you're gonna see the good defensive work by George. It's fourth down and 14, and uh, back in there is uh, Bayer. Nina takes a time, uh, South takes a timeout with 3.09 remaining in the first half, six to nothing South. Cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. in there, Chris. Now, you, you don't think they're going to be uh, going for it on 4th and 14. No, nope, now they are. Before they were going to punt, and now the punt, by calling timeout, they've changed their mind, and they're going to go for it. Andrew Burr is wide to the right. Little is the deep back. Hornis is the up back. And uh, we get another whistle. South calls another timeout. And uh, now we can take another 30-second timeout if you want, Scott. Otherwise, uh, we'll just keep it here, and Chris can talk with his heart's content. <laughs> Don't sit there with your mouth closed. <laughs> well, very strange situation there, Marty. Uh, Nina was going to punt, and uh, South called timeout to make sure watch the fakes. Well, then all of a sudden, uh, Nina says, well, if they're going to use a timeout, we'll bring out our offense. And Chris Hine had the boys all set, but now they're... Uh, they're coming in a uh, such different situation, so uh, South will be out of timeouts. But the I think uh, the good thing I think is they have one left, but I'm not sure. I think Coach Pfeiffer called one in the first quarter. Yeah, they actually got it on the scoreboard there, Chris. Timeouts left on the six side is a wow. one. Nina has two left. Okay. That first one was by uh, Nina. That's, okay. that's probably the one you're thinking of. Right. I'm sorry. Hey, you don't have to be sorry. Just don't be wrong again. All righty. Fourth and 14. Defensive backs for South are a good 15 yards back. Bahrain at quarterback. Little is a lone setback. Grant's head and sack. Gavin Majorly. Maybe we should punt. Says the Rockets. That's all right. They can punt. They can go for it if they want. We'll take a couple more yards. <laughs> You know, we've talked about this for years, Mario. We've been doing this. I'm just, we're, I'm a big field position person, and I don't know, I like pinning teams back and letting them make mistakes. And uh, by doing this, you're giving South, you know, field position, and, uh, you know, you could force South inside the 10 or something like that, and maybe they'll make a mistake. But now you're open here, and a lot of confidence for the Red Wings. So 3.04 I just, left, Chris. Uh, elephant backfield in there. See if they put a wrinkle in here out of this group. 
side. No, Stuby keeps it, bounces to the outside, and a great defensive play made by number 27, Mike Goltz. Get that good look at some of the defensive players for South. Defensive backfield. Coming right into your living room was Matt Fister. Chang, Miller, Hendricks. Uh, what Stuby's not, oh, he did it on that penalty play. He's not being able to cut it back and for big yardage. Uh, Nina's a good tackling team. Ball on the 40. Second and eight. Clock running at 229. Six to nothing, South on top. Suby hands it off to Hartman. He's got the outside. Put your head down, boy. And he's got a first down inside Nina territory at about the 48. I really like when they run to the long side. And now Will Hartman's got problems with his arm here as he's coming out. Oh, now there's a penalty flag all of a sudden here. You know what, the entire Nina coaching se section was screaming, and so then the guy probably had to throw it out, but that was a real late flag, because I didn't see that early. That's two penalties that cost some big plays. Darn. I would like to see when that flag came out. Well, because that all is spotted on the 32. You know, get enough coaches whining over there, people will listen. <laughs> Why don't you say what you really think, Chris? <laughs> Inside handoff to uh, Donovan, I believe that was. Nope, Billman was the ball carrier. Billman gets it out to the uh, 36, gain of four. Third and long, Marty. Yeah, 11, 11 or 12. I guess we'll call it 12. That's what they have up on the board. They get a great shot of Tim Stuby barking signals. Milan's is the center. Here come the Rockets. Fake handoff. Stuby's not going to get away. He's going to be hit and dropped at the 25. Fake the inside handoff. Nina didn't bite on it, and they hit Stuby back at the 25. Another big loss of 11 yards. Well, I saw him coming, and there was nothing for Tim to do there. And well, Stuby was sacked for a uh, minus 15 in the first quarter, and now he's sacked for a minus 11 here. That's uh, 26 yards of losses. Oh in, yeah, uh, two carries. We're at 105 left in the first quarter. Uh, Nina called a timeout to uh, prevent the clock from running down and a uh, good defensive strategy. We need a good punt by uh, Anthony Hoytink. Well, the penalties have hurt South. That's for sure. And uh, could be inside uh, 40 there, but a couple penalties have cost them. And uh, Nina's going to get a chance to score again. And I've got uh, Stuby with a minus three yards in uh, nine carries. Very uncharacteristic for him. He had over 120 yards at Madison last week. Well, Nina was, uh, has been doing a very good job of countering the offensive sets of South, and it uh, seems like they knew they were going to pass and do those things, and that's why with those offset plays that South has run a little bit, misdirections have worked. They reset the clock to 111. Hoytink's punt is away. Good coverage by South. And he gets a pretty good bounce. It's going to go into uh, Nina territory. Inside the 40 to the 39. Good punt by Anthony Hoytink. We got exactly one minute remaining. South in the first half. South on top, six to nothing. Now I can't allow the big play now, Marty. So, not a real long punt, 36 yards, but under pressure, Anthony did a good job. One timeout remains for each uh, club in this first half. It's definitely been a grinder. Wide receivers left and right for Nina. Little is the uh, 
deep back. Hornis the up back. Bahrain dropping straight back. Middle screen to a uh, buyer. He's trying to bowl forward, but he's not going to get much. Pfeiffer dropped back and got him. It's going to be about a five-yard pickup. Pfeiffer got an interception on that play last week. Quick, quickly, they set up the offense. Second down and five. Moraine straight back, fires it out to uh, Bayer. He gets it up to the 50. That'll be a first down. 27 seconds remain. In a spot it right on the 50 yard line. That's a six yard pickup. Makes it first and 10. Now it should be starting right away. I don't think it was, I think it was tackled in bounds, but, uh, and they are, they're rolling it. He was not out of bounds. He wasn't. That was a good call because I saw the official where he landed, and so the clock is rolling. So we're down to 17, Marty. Rogers is wide to the left. Burr is wide left, right, pardon me. Marine straight back. He's being rushed by Major League. He's hit late. Back is Fister, and he cannot make the play with five seconds remaining in the first half. Nina will have it second and 10. Much better that time. Way back, back yourselves up, and uh, Matt Fisher was in proper position that time. If anything, they were going to call offensive pass interference. And with any luck here, this should be the last play, and we'll come out of here with a 6 0 lead. South will be uh, kicking off to start the second half. There you see it. 6 0 South, five seconds remaining. Ball on the 50. It's second down, 10 to go in the second quarter. Miller is back, go 5, 10, 15, 20 yards and dropping back as I speak. Bahrain up the middle, pass goes incomplete through the hands of Hendricks, and that'll end the first half with South on top, 6 to nothing. Hey there, big guy. You want to have a catch? Sun's out. Not up to it, huh? Well, maybe tomorrow, huh? Millions of children suffer from PI, primary immunodeficiency, a defect of the immune system that causes children to be sick over and over again. Early diagnosis can give your child a better quality of life, and you as well. Call 866-INFO-FOR-PI or visit us on the web. Somewhere around the world, there are men and women of the armed forces risking their lives helping rebuild communities after natural disasters, collecting toys for needy children, tutoring kids in school. These are your sons and daughters who work to keep us safe, secure, and free. Dedicated men and women who put their country first. Hey, Chris, we're on camera. <laughs> Chris has an important announcement he wants to read. Sure, this was uh, brought out to all the media here and it was announced to the uh, entire fan section here, but just something from the Sheboygan Area School District and South High School. They'd like to thank the Sheboygan community for this past Tuesday. The citizens of Sheboygan made an important decision and passed the school referendum. The referendum will take large steps in improving physical education, athletic facilities uh, in, in all the schools uh, and all around here. By passing the referendum, the community is saying that the schools and our students are important to Sheboygan. Sheboygan South High School would like to thank you again, and we hope that the entire community enjoys the new facilities as much as we will. I know, Chris, uh, you and I were involved in that referendum committee to get the information out to the public, and uh, they took the information and uh, used it wisely, and uh, it would have been a huge bummer for everybody <laughs> on that committee had this not passed, not to speak of, you know, all the students and uh, people that supported it. So uh, we really go out and thank the community for their support. Let's talk a little halftime stats. Uh, South only rolled up 70 yards in the first half, 34 yards on the ground and 21 carries. Uh, Nina's defense is everything uh, was built up to be. And uh, on the flip side, South's defense was uh, even better. They limited Nina to only 39 total yards in the first half, 28 on the ground in uh, 17 carries. Uh, Bahrain was two for eight for 11 yards. Stubbe was only two for seven with an interception for 36. Of course, the big one was a 28 yarder to uh, Pfeiffer for the touchdown. 
First and 10 for Nina, ball is right on the 35 yard line. I think it's important for uh, South to stop them so they can get reasonable field position. They've uh, struggled later in this first half with field division position after that interception. A little misdirection play by Little. He hits the hole hard and he's up over the 40 yard line. And uh, he's not gonna get a good, going to get a good spot either, Chris. You're gonna mark him down at the 40. Look like he got it all the way up to the 41. Yeah, Ben Hendricks with a shoestring tackle as well. Uh, if you just joined us, that's the person to stop today. And uh, Alex Little, 1,900 yards rushing, and uh, very similar to uh, what South's attack with Eric Donovan. Second down and five. They give it to Little again. He bounces, tries to get to the outside, but uh, gets very little on that gain, maybe a yard or so. Salt bottling him up. Spotted at the 42, give him a two yard gain. It's gonna be third down and three. Uh, just, I know you'll be watching this later tonight or tomorrow morning, but at halftime, it's uh, Marshfield 21 and Appleton North 14. That is the next opponent to the winner of this game, which will be played at a neutral site. Should be the final four. Third down and three, a long three. Pitch to Little, bounces to the outside. He's got room. He gets to the outside. He's down to the 40. Cuts it back to the 30, to the 20, the 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, and that's that big play you talked about, Chris. Well, you didn't want it to happen, but it just happened. You didn't want him to get out in the open and run, and uh, he did a lot of that work on himself, and... Uh, just like that, it's six to six and a good start for the Nina Rockets. Well, they had a they had a crack at him, you know, near the line of scrimmage, maybe only a yard or two gain had they knocked him down, but uh, he bounced to the outside and uh, made some great moves on the cutback. Very important extra point, Marty. Byer is uh, in there, you could get a good look at him. Snap is good, the set is down, the boot goes wide just snuck inside the uh, right upright and it is good and with 10 29 remaining in the third quarter it's uh, nina seven salt six in wisconsin the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists so if you bike ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights whether you ride a bike or drive a car you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks at intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. Back at uh, South High School where uh, Alex Little has just silenced the uh, South High crowd with a 58-yard touchdown run. You're going to have to replay that one when you get a chance, Scott. That was a dandy. Well, I think uh, Sheboygan South just has to counter here. They got to get the offense going, and uh, they had plenty of opportunities, but Nina's uh, got an outstanding defense. Uh, they've pitched a couple shutouts, and uh, four times this year they've given up only a touchdown. So they are uh, good, but uh, you got to counter and get it back. Another squib. Fair catch. Look, kick is called. Fair catch is called by uh, Fister, and he makes it just over the 40 yard line. And uh, maybe that's their attempt to keep the ball away from Donovan. Well, that's a good uh, decision by Matt Fister there with a the fair catch and good field position. And uh, who's to say that uh, we can't score just as quickly here? And there's a green thing out there on the field next to number 48. I don't know what that is. Here's the run. I thought South defensive backs had them boggled up here. They over pursued and then just like that and a good downfield block by that receiver. A uh, handoff to Donovan. And he takes it off tackle right and uh, picks up about three yards. And uh, Nina's defense has uh, been very tough, and it continues to be that way. All right, and there's no question that Eric Donovan wants to counter what uh, Alex Little just did. I still think South's got to work more to the outside, and you have to use that speed a little bit and uh, you know spread that open, and that'll make the inside game a little bit better. Second down and seven. Hand off. Donovan's got an opening and a great tackle made out there by 
Mike Goltz, and uh, I remember calling his name in the first half where he made a fine tackle, and the boy, he saved a big gainer. Yes, he did, and uh, you're right, a couple plays that he saved there, but that's the kind of burst we want, those holes, and quickly get through there, and those are two good gainers here. We got third and tight here. Let's get it right here. Let's get that meat working. And off to Donovan, off tackle, he bounces to the outside and he gets it down to the 45 yard line. Nice run by Donovan. Good contain block there. Nina coaching uh, coaches up here want to hold there on Pfeiffer, but uh, it's going to be a first down for South. And uh, that's just what they have to do here. Counter gets some first downs. The last thing we wanted was a three and out, but uh, good job so far by that all offense of the Red Wings. Wide receivers left and right. Uh, Pfeiffer is the tight end on the left side. Big handoff, Stubbe keeps it. He's hit, uh, bounces up near the 40 yard line. Fake the handoff to uh, Billman and then kept it and got it down to the 41. Pick up a four. That's about the biggest gainer for him. It's been tough for him. I see some of the well, he had an 11-yard pickup in, right away in the uh, first quarter, but uh, didn't get much after that. You're right. Second down and six. And off to Donovan. He's got a big opening on the right side and uh, cut it back, and he's uh, hit and dropped short of the first down. But uh, the tackle on that side created a huge hole. Donovan was not quite as big a gain as you might have thought. Yeah, he's... It's easy for us to look up here and know that he should run right there instead of left, but uh, again, we got a third and short here. Everything's in the middle of the field. Second down and a long two. Nino almost jumped offside. Donovan taking it up the middle. He's not gonna have the first down. Be very close. It's gonna be short. They're gonna actually mark him down at the 36. Wow. Gonna be fourth and one, and uh, I think they're gonna go for it here. And well, I think uh, South has a lot of pride, obviously, in having them stop down near the goal line in the first quarter should inspire these guys to get this uh, first down out at about the 36-yard line. Double tight, double tight. Travis Wilson is the wideout on the right side. Hand off to, no, Stubbe keeps it. He's got the outside, he's down to the 20. And he's out of bounds and a penalty flag late. Well, it's gonna be, I and think. And another it, penalty flag comes down. I think Wilson on a hold, but it should be a first down. And then I think he's got enough because it's gonna be a spot foul. So it should be still a first down, I think, Marty. Holding on uh, south, but uh, you're right. The hold occurred way downfield after uh, Stubbe had the first down. He got it inside the 20, and that's where the flag is laying. We'll have to see. Travis Wilson with the hold, but I like that when he got outside. Everybody's tight. I just want him to work that outside much more, but that still should be a first down. But golden opportunity there, but instead it should be a first down. That's the important thing, but we gave up a 10 yards there. That's the bad thing. It's gonna be first and 10 for South. The ball is gonna be spotted inside the 20. We'll call it the 28. There's been some holds against South. Every time they seem to get a big play, there's been a penalty flag. Stubbe fakes a handoff and fires it deep to Wilson. He's got his receiver beat, but the pass is too long. Pass incomplete. Just a slight bump by the Nina defender was the difference there and uh, overthrown by Stubbe. I thought they maybe didn't get as good of a fake into the line as they might have liked to uh, get that defensive uh, player to bite up, but uh, Anyway, it's a long pass, incomplete. It's second down and 10. The ball is at the 28 South trails in the third quarter, seven to six. Alex Little with a 58 yard touchdown run to counter the 28 yard scoring pass 
Pfeiffer to, uh, or pardon me, Stu Pfeiffer, and uh, Donovan is uh, wrapped up right in the middle of the line. A little, or hey, picks up maybe a yard. Well, here they come again. They're going to be tight. Third down and nine. Just would like to see him use that outside more, and that might create more space up in the middle. They just seem to be trying to keep pounding it in there, and most teams that's a good idea, but just Nina seems to be real tough in that middle there, clogging Hart it up. Hartman is the up back, Donovan the deep back, Wilson and Teller the wideouts left and right. Fake handoff, Stubbe being rushed from behind, he's gonna get sacked out at the 38 yard line. Again, making the sack was Tom Dorr. You know, they just, every they know it's coming and Nina has the counter every time. They're sending that blitz and there's nobody there to pick it up. There's just too many Nina guys there. And uh, again, a penalty flag earlier on the drive cost them 10 yards and then the incompletion and the clog up and they send the house and they keep losing yardage that they're gaining. Good snap to Hoytink. His punt is away, it's a high one. Getting down is Miller. And then he's held and thrown down, and no call by the official as the ball bounces into the end zone. Oh, good job of blocking by that uh, Nina kid. I believe that was uh, Max Rady. Ball bounces into the end zone. And it'll be first and 10 Nina. Ball will be spotted on the 20. We're at 531 of the third quarter. Nina leads it. Seven to six. Doors in motion. He's that defensive end. Little with the carry, and he gets nothing. He stopped right at the 20 yard line. Door, number 11, has a uh, Two huge sacks for uh, Nina. And uh, that last play he was in as the uh, tight end. Uh, pardon me, as the uh, fullback. Second down and 10. Brandon Rogers is the wide out on the right side. Hand off to Little, trying to bounce to the outside. He's hitting. Pushed back at about the 24 yard line. A good stop. I think that was uh, by Hendricks and Major Lee and uh, Miller all in there. And uh, Little is down. He's uh, not feeling good. And this is at least the second time in this ball game where he's had his bell rung. Big hits there by South. Everything it's lived up to, it's supposed to be a defensive game and that's what it's been. It's, there you see Coach Hine. Got to get another stop to get that offense back on the field and in relatively good field position because it's such a key tonight because of the defense of, uh, of both teams are just outstanding. Ball is spotted at the 24 yard line. It's going to be a third down and six. And uh, although we don't want to ever see a kid get hurt, it's nice to not have little in the backfield. <laughs> Well, that's something to worry about, but unfortunately, last time uh, Hor Hornies, Hornus, Hornus made a couple big uh, plays, so we'll see if he gets it this time. All right, keep your eye on Rodgers. He's split out wide right. In motion is door number 11. Now he comes back to the left. Hand off to Hornus. He's tripped up in the backfield and stopped. A nice play by uh, Jacob Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer was there. Chang, good. You're right. Shoestring tackle by Pfeiffer. And very important because now South should get the ball again around midfield. Uh, Donovan is back this time. Ball at the 23, that was a loss of one by uh, Blaine Hornis. Back deep is Donovan. Hartman is the uh, up man. Good snap, Byers kick is away. Good punt. Yeah. And uh, they're going to let it bounce. It takes a south high bounce. It'll be uh, at about the 42 or 43 yard line. South again with uh, good field position, only about 57 yards away from Paydirt. I 
And they're putting her down on the 43-yard uh, line. It's going to be first and 10 south. Yeah. Got two wideouts to the left. Donovan is in the slot. Lone setback, I believe that's Hartman. It is, he gets the handoff. And uh, Donovan wanted to make the block, but he got there a little bit late, and if you'd have hit that defender, it would have been a clip, so he laid off. And Donovan's hit, uh, pardon me, Hartman is hit for a three yard loss. No place for him to run. We gotta hold up on the line a little bit, and another big loss. Well, just what you don't want. Second down and long. Stubby straight back, fires a little flare pass out to uh, Hartman, but it's just out of his reach. Pass goes incomplete. It'll be third down and long. Well, again, not a lot of time for Stubby there. The line letting go a little bit. They got to hold a little longer. Give him some time, and uh, things seem to be going backwards here a little bit more the last few plays and forward. And well, I, that first down play is such a key. You know, if you can gain even just three or four yards, I mean that's a, that's a huge difference in uh, going second and 13, second and 14. Here they come again. Stuby straight back. He rolls right, looking deep, fires it down. Yeah, his receiver was tripped up, Donovan, and there's no flag. Well, I, like, I don't know if they tangled up feet or what, but geez. Well, I like that a lot. I like Tim Stuby out rolling like that. That's a good idea. I don't know what happened downfield. I was watching Stuby and well, little Donovan and the, and the DB were running neck and neck, and all of a sudden it was just a DB. <laughs> yeah. And uh, good, good idea, good play call, and could have been a big strike. We got two guys back now, and. Nina's winning the field position game now, too. Well, Little is not back. Yes, he is. Oh, he is back there. And he's going to let it bounce. And it takes a good hop inside the 15. It's going to be downed at the 14-yard line. Nice punt by uh, Anthony Hoytink. Got a break on that punt there. I thought Nina would have hit around the 30, but a good hop is right. So... Uh, Instead of winning the field position, they just lost it there on a good hop there by Anthony Hoytank's punt. 47-yard punt. That's a, the man, Will Hartman. I'll tell you that, Alex Little's back in there again. Yeah, we got 229 remaining in the third quarter. Again, Nina leads it 7-6. to six. We've had a real grinder here tonight. Hand off to Little. He's hit by uh, David George and dropped at a, about the 15 or 16 yard line, but a short gain by Little. George has had a good ball game tonight. Ball is at the 16 yard line, so we'll give him a gain of two. You get a good shot of uh, Alex Little, number two. He's the deep back. His fullback is uh, Blaine Hornis. Again, handoff. He's got opening. Tries to cut it back, but South is right there and stops him at about the 18 or 19 yard line. Oh, man. Yeah, and Jonathan Valdez getting off the bottom of the pile, too. Give it. Let's call it the 20. So it'll pick up a four. This is a huge third down play. A wide out to the left is Burke. Burke holds. He made that fine interception return. Rogers is to the left, to the right side, pardon me. Fake handoff. Now they give it to Little. He's cutting it back. He's not going to get. Oh, he dives forward. He might have the first down on an effort at the end of the run. He does. He gets it right out to the 25 yard line, just over. Nice run by Alex Little to get the first down. Well, you're right, Marty. They had him bottled up, but just the effort again by Alex Little, that little bit extra pushed him over, and we're under a minute in the third quarter. And uh, 
Just a sigh of relief by the Nina staff over there for that first down. Give them a little space here. Officials time out to uh, repair some equipment on a Nina lineman. And the official rolls the clock. 44 seconds and counting in the third quarter. Nina on top, seven to six. Little trying to get it to the outside. Instead, he's hitting the backfield back at about the 24 yard line. Ran the same exact play there, but South wasn't fooled this time. That's not an official starting the clock. That's Sheboygan South basketball coach Dan Koopman. The season's going to get started in a couple of weeks. Some of these young men will be out there on the courts. 10 seconds and counting in the third quarter. Should be the last play if everything uh, goes without a hitch. Hornis firing it out. Passes over the intended receiver, Alex Beyer, and that's the end of the third quarter with Nina on top, seven to six. Bacteria is the leading cause of tooth decay, which is the number one chronic childhood disease. Ugh, that ain't no fairy tale. What? Tell the kids of America how to prevent tooth decay. Do I get a superhero costume? A tooth fairy. Kids of America. You gotta brush them, floss them, and rinse them twice a day. Visit the dentist and go to americastoothfairy.org to help rescue a kid from pain. Let's get her done. <laughs> Nina had 78 yards of total offense in that quarter, Chris. 58 of them coming on the uh, Alex Little touchdown run. Solid on the flip side, only at 30 yards offense. It's third and 11. Burkholz in motion. Bahrain's pass is, uh, I believe, complete. Or was it dropped? I couldn't tell. Well, Hartman was over there. And yeah, that pass does go incomplete. And again, good field position possible here for, for South. Good defense again. And you want an emotional roller coaster? Strap yourself in for the next uh, 12 minutes, Marty. No kidding. Here we go. Third, fourth down. Byers kick is almost blocked. Takes a good bounce for Nina. It's gonna go inside the 35 yard line and be down at about the 32. Coming in hard to try and make the block was uh, Andrew Hoppert. Well, Nina's been stingy all night. South's got to somehow carve themselves down the field and get themselves a chance at a six points or a field goal here. Forty-four yard punt. First and ten for South. Ball on the 32. Fake handoff. Pitch out to uh, Donovan. He's outside and gets the first down. He's out to about the 43 yard line. There's that outside run. I love it. I love that play. They just have so many guys in tight there, Marty. They have they have that uh, basic base 4-3, and uh, they're so quick and fast, very similar to the South defense. And you know, if you can try to get them outside, create those 10 yards, it makes it a lot easier. 43 yards now for Eric Donovan in the ball game. Seven more of those right down the field. Billman is the up back. And off to Donovan up the middle. Battling forward, he got it up, up to the 40 before he was pushed back. <laughs> up to the 45, pardon me. One official says 44, the other says 45, and to be honest with you, the first official had oh, it at the- Oh, man, he had come it, on, you guys. He had it at the 46 to start with. He leaned forward to the 45, and that other referee is pushing him back to the 44. That's terrible. They've, uh, I mean, the first this official on this side had him at the 46. Second down and nine. Big handoff, that was a mix-up, and Stubby's gonna gain some yardage on that mix-up of a play. It's gonna get it down into uh, Nina territory. You know what he was doing on that play? Running for his life. <laughs> <laughs> and here you're gonna say that, and uh, you just gotta go to work line. You gotta drive one down here and get yourselves a ch an opportunity to score. And so far, you've created that, that chance. You've got it inside of Nina territory again. 
Good burst there by Stubbe. Good work by the line. 21 yards for Stubbe on 13 carries. Uh, uncharacteristically low output for him. Stubbe dropping back. He picks up a block. He's trying to roll. Fires it down the field. Diving attempt. And the catch is made by Danny Teller. No. No. Darn. Yes. No. No, yes. No. Incomplete. Incomplete. And again, another chance. And again, that's not on the same page today. We just can't get that completion that we need. And it'd be so key because it would move guys back and a little confidence for uh, Tim. And well, to, to uh, Coach Pfeiffer's credit, he keeps going to it. You know, you got to keep him loosened up. Make him respect your passing game. Teller is the wide out to the right. Fake inside handoff. Stubby keeps him. He's wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage. A really fine defensive play made by Nina. Tom Dore, number 11, right there, making the stop. Third and 10, ball on the 45. We're at uh, 10 minutes and counting of the fourth quarter. Nina's on top, seven to six. I don't even like where they spot the ball on that play. The guy was right at the 45 yard line, yet it's spotted back near the 40, 46. Stubby straight back, looking up. Now he heads up the field, gives a one ball carrier or a defender a great fake, and he carries it up to the 40 before he's hit and dropped. Let's see how many yards he'll uh, push it back from that play. Official spots it on the 40 where it should be. Stubby with a five yard scramble. It's going to be fourth and five. Well, another three minutes went off the clock, but. No points. We need to get this one pinned inside here. Cannot roll in the end zone. We got to get him pinned. Good snap, and the kick is away. Takes a nice uh, bounce. What it's that? down at uh, the nine yard line. Yeah, Ben Miller again. You don't let it roll, and uh, unfortunately, it pops up in his hands again, and so we're going to start on the 10. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, you have to have. Rely on the defense again to get a shutdown and give your offense another opportunity. Actually, I think it's outside the 10, Chris. It's at almost a 12 yard line. <laughs> We're getting ornery when our team's losing. <laughs> Little is the deep back, Hornis is the up back, Bahrain is still at quarterback. In motion is Bayer. Hand off to a little. He's not going to go far. He's going to be hit back at the 10 yard line. He's going to lose a yard depending on the spot. In the middle of the action for South was David George. I don't think we'll see that play again, Marty, because it doesn't fool anybody and all it does is delay the uh, the uh, hole to be uh, of Nina to be created and South just rushes in there and there's no place for him to go and I don't think we'll see that again. A loss of one. Chang blitzing. Boom! Blows it up in the backfield. Steve Chang. You saw him edging up on the left side of the line. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good play. Big play. There he is, number two. Steve Chang. I go to South High. Oh, didn't he knock him down on a five? The ball spotted on the six. Loss of five on that play. Golden opportunity again, and uh, got an extra DB back in there. We got Adam Math in there. Wide receivers for uh, Nina on the right side. Handoff inside. Little gain and uh, probably a good defensive or a good offensive play by Nina. You know, play it safe. You've got the lead. The clock is running. We're at 7.30 and counting. And again, the punter doesn't have to stand in his end zone, which is kind of a psychological thing. You know, all he has to do is uh, get himself a little space. And once again, South should have good field position pending the return. And uh, no penalties here. Good job by the D again. 
Good snap to Bayer. Nice having a big tall kid back there, huh, Chris? Uh-oh. Oh. And it takes a nice bounce for uh, Salt. It, it's kind of like your chip shot on the golf course. You know, you put it up on the green, it just stays there right about three inches from the pin. I was afraid it was going to hit and yeah, uh, hard roll was again. Got knocked down, kind of. Well, I was afraid that they were gonna, it was going to hit and roll over the 50 again like the last one. But that one uh, had a uh, Riverdale uh, divot in there. And <laughs> you're right, it out. So good job by the D, and you get the ball back at the 40. You need about 40 yards here. Billman is the up back, Donovan the deep back. Fake handoff, pitch out to Donovan. He's trying to go wide, and he loses his balance, and he's going to be dropped outside the 40 at about the 43. Give him a loss of three. Well, I like the play call. It just didn't uh, work out as well. And again, South looking at a second and long. I think they're just they're really pressing right now, and uh, Eric just wants to make a play. South's got to be a little quicker now. We're almost halfway through the quarter. 6.25 and counting, it's second down and 13. Teller is wide right, Wilson is wide left. Hand off to Donovan, he's through the line, he's got an opening, he's out to the linebacker spot and gets it down near the 36 yard line. Nice chunky yardage. Gotta be in there a little quicker, Jacob. Gotta go, Jacob. Can sacrifice five yards now. Gotta be a little quicker here. Ball on the 36 yard line, it's uh, third down and six. Now here's a play where if you can get four or five yards, you can go for it on fourth down, obviously. Donovan is a deep back. We got wide receivers left and right. Fake handoff, Stubbe keeps it on the option. He's going nowhere. He's hit and dropped right at the 36 yard line. I don't Nina, know about all that. over that. I don't know about that play. I, I mean, that's just not been working, that middle thing. And now you're forced to punt again. Throw it down the field or get it outside or it's just not been there. And uh, that was just boggled up with that outside containment there. And they must have got film on that uh, Madison East game because uh, they're all over that option play. Well, just. Each guy's trying to make the play, and meanwhile, the clock's ticking. Good punt. Little leaving it go. It stops. No, it takes a bounce just into the end zone. Nina will have it first and 10 at the 20. Seven to six. Nina's on top. We're at under five minutes now with 4.59. And uh, I know South's defense is really good, but uh, you know, you get into this situation, you let them get a first down or two, and all of a sudden you're sitting, you know, with the ball with maybe a minute and a half, two minutes left in the game. And they've been asked to make plays all day, and they've made, you know, and they have, except for one, and it's just gonna be, it's very tough for them to be asked to do this consistently. Almost fumbled by Bahrain, gets it over to Little, he gets it over the 20 to about the 22 or 23. It's going to be uh, second down. And seven, I think they're gonna spot it at the 23. I see uh, Hartman limping around a little bit out there, Chris. Bill Witt comes in, and coming out is uh, Kyle Berlin. Two tight end set for Nina. Again, Little is the deep back. He gets the handoff, cuts it back. He's got a first down out over the 30 to about the 34 yard line. That was a big play. Ball is gonna be on the 34 yard line. That was an 11 yard pickup by Little. Time out by South with 4.12 remaining and Nina on top, seven to six. Take a short break and be right back. Behind the wheel, there is no such thing as a small distraction. A public service reminder from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Speak out against distracted driving at decidetodrive.org. 
12 remaining in the ball game. South with two timeouts remaining. It's first and 10, Nina. Ball spotted on the 34 yard line. Uh, Alex Little made the two biggest runs of the game, his 58 yard touchdown run and that uh, 11 yard first down run so far in this ball game. Well, they gotta be up tight. They gotta really be up. The linebackers just gotta fly here. You gotta run blitz, because that's all they're gonna do. And off to Little, bounces to the outside. And a good fill by uh, Miller, I believe that was, or was it, no, it's Steve Chang making the stop. Little picks up only a yard. And he kept the ball in bounds. It's down to uh, 350 in county, left in the ball game. A lot of time left. But ball you got to get a stop here, Mark. Yep. We got to punt the ball this time. You don't want to let them get too far down the field because then you lose a lot of field position too. Chang creeping up. Little gets it uh, pretty good yardage. Gets it out near the 39 yard line. It's gonna be third down. Well, you got to get a stop right here, Marty. This is the play you need to get a stop and probably gonna use a timeout. And you should have about two and a half minutes to uh, maneuver down the field, which is a lot of time. You don't have to panic because every time there's a first down, you know, the clock will stop. Well, biggest third down of the night. 257 and counting, it's third and six. Stops action. It's delay a game on Nina. That'll push him back a little bit farther. Third down and ten. You got to think they're going to run it. I mean, I wouldn't be throwing the ball. I don't know. Well, he threw that uh, safe pass to uh, Hornis in the first half. It was a little overthrown. I would think they'll run, Marty. Two wide receivers off to the left. And off to Little, trying to bounce to the outside. And he's hit and buried. Time out. Back time at out. the 34-yard line, 33. Time, time out. out south. We're all screaming it, but the officials are uh, looking at the grass and not worried about what's going on on the field and knowing the situation. Good officials would know that South is probably going to call a timeout instead of looking at the ground. <laughs> Good point, Chris. I like your fit of sarcasm. I don't hear that very often. <laughs> well, it's just one of the situations. You, they know that South is going to call out timeout. Just like in a basketball game, the officials know a guy's going to try to foul or put a situation, not an intentional foul, but know the situation out on the field. So, you know, looking down on the ground, and you got the entire bench and uh, three or four players screaming it, and you're looking at the ground. Second time out taken by Sheboygan South. They have one remaining. Nina has not used any in the second half. We've got uh, Donovan is the deep back. He's set up at the 35 yard line. Up in front of him at the 47 is Will Hartman. Now Byers uh, done a pretty good job of punting the ball. Uh, one thing that is nice, and I know I mentioned this early, but if you're a long snapper, it's nice to have that big target back there. Yep. He's 6'3". Can't be offside now. Punt is away. Donovan is going to field it at the 30. Looking, he's got some room. Gets it up over the 35, and he's going to be hit and dropped at about the 37 or 36. But a good punt return by Donovan. And South is going to have it first and 10 with 2.25 remaining. Well, plenty of time to get down the field. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. You got opportunities. You don't have to go for big, long plat passes. You got time to do it. Good coverage there by Nina, not allowing a big return by Donovan. I mean, it was a nice return, but uh, avoided the big one, that's for sure. Three wide receivers. Teller is split off to the uh, left. Two wide receivers off to the right. Hartman, the lone setback. Stubbe keeps it. He's through the line of scrimmage. Juking and jiving and gets it out over the 40 to the 42. Second down. Very important to get the first down on this drive. Stop the clock. Get yourself set. Lots of time left. You have a timeout left. 205. And counting, unfortunately. 
First job here is to get the first down on the first one to just give yourself a little, little bump. Milan's the center, Stubby the quarterback, Hartman the setback. Nobody's Fumble, Stubby picks it up, and he's gonna be hit and dropped at the 40. Oh boy, that was a long time to fumble the ball. And South's calling for timeout, but they're not getting it right now. Well, they get it. 140 remaining in the ball game, and that's South's last timeout. It's gonna be third down and six. Well, Coach Pfeiffer's gonna look at his little sheet here and try to figure out a, a bad situation here. You gotta get the first down first. There's no question there, and uh, gotta find something in your little arsenal to do that. You know, little situation today that South has not been in all year, basically, where they've been under the gun, and gentlemen have been pressing a little bit, and each trying to be the guy, and uh, right now, well, just like we've seen in the East game, that final regular season game, Nina is a great tackling ball club, just like uh, Green Bay East was. Uh, the difference was South was able to get two touchdowns and uh, the defense took over. Here, uh, Nina's defense has taken over for the most part after South grabbed that six nothing lead. And we got two wide receivers off to the left. Lone setback is a Hartman. Stubby going straight back. He's got good protection. Fires it out. Wilson makes the catch and he steps out of bounds at about the 48 yard line. Well, oh, that's just what you want there. A first down and feel a little momentum there. You got time. It was out of bounds, so the clock shouldn't stop. Come up with a play, Coach Pfeiffer. Get the guys relaxed and uh, just give yourselves a chance. That's all you have to do is work your way down the field. Now you're out of timeouts. But uh, still, you got lots of time with a buck 30. Wilson and Donovan, the wide outs to the right. Nobody's on Donovan. Nobody split out. Now uh, Burkholz moves back. Door fires over the middle, right into the hands of Wilson. Even though it was a little bit low, he wasn't able to hang on to it. Looked like there might have been a mix up in the pass patterns. Well, Wilson was wondering if it was to Donovan or to him. Bottom line, catch the football and go. There's no thinking about it, just grab it. Be, become a hero. I always tell my guys uh, on the baseball team, who's gonna be the hero today or who's gonna step up and be the, make, make the plays? And uh, that was a golden opportunity there. And instead of pointing fingers at your teammates, you be the guy to step up and make the big play. Hold the line up front, meet. Dave Pfeiffer uh, calling out encouragement to his troops. Again, two wide receivers off to the right. Nina blitzing, picked up nicely. Stubby being chased by Dorr, fires it down the field, coming back for the inter for the reception was Donovan, but he couldn't make it, and the ball was dropped. Say hit the ground. Nina thought they got the interception there, but uh, fell incomplete, so you're gonna have new life. Well, I'll tell you, South has had a terrible time throwing the ball tonight. In the second half, they're one for seven. In the ball game, they're only three for 14, and uh, that's just not getting it done. And it isn't like they haven't had receivers open. Just have had a heck of a time completing passes. It's third down and 10. Ball is still on the 47. Two wide receivers off to the left this time. We haven't seen Jacob Pfeiffer be used much in the ball game. See if you can sneak him out. Stubby going. He's going to have the first down. He's down inside the 40 to about the 37. First down, Sheboygan South with 115 remaining. Good call there by Coach Pfeiffer. They've been spreading it out so deep, I thought the middle might be open. I almost thought they might give a draw play there, but better yet, quarterback draw was just as good as handing it off. Still lots of time left, boys. You got time. They're running Stubby it out. Back. Door on him, and Stubby dives forward. He's gonna have a gain of maybe a yard. Clock continues to run. They gotta hustle back to the line. We're under a minute. 56 seconds and counting at second and 10. Ball on the 37. Stubby back, has good blocking. Pass up the middle, is complete to Pfeiffer. He's down inside the 30 to about the 26 yard line. We haven't seen Jacob much. It's nice to see him get his hands on the ball. You gotta remember that you don't have any timeouts left as well. It's gonna be a tough situation. Stubby under center. Good 
Big call. pitches out to uh, Donovan. He cuts it back in the middle, buries his head, and he dives inside the 20 to about the 18. We're at 33 seconds left. Short of the first down. He should spike the ball here. Second down. He should spike the ball here and then. Ball at the 18. It's second down and two. Or throw Clock it in the end running. Ball. He might not. Stuby, he's got the first down. He's inside the 10. No. Dropped at about the 11, but it's first and 10 with 14 seconds spike remaining. Spike the ball. You got to spike the ball. Spike the ball right now. Ball's at the 13. Give him a five yard pickup. Spike the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 13-yard uh, line. Spikes it. Well, they get a chance. That's all you wanted, Marty. They got a chance. Six seconds left. This will probably be the final play of the game. Second down and 10. They gave themselves a chance, Marty. Very good job by Tim Stubity in the line. And uh, we'll see what happens here. It's going to be about a 32-yarder. Feel bad for Brett Vicky, it's all on his shoulders because he missed the extra point, but he's just got to do what he always did. Nina's going to call timeout. Just another extra point, Brent. That's all it is, really, when you think about it. Vicky's uh, got a good foot, and uh, he can kick him long and true. Just want to make sure we get that good center snap and the good set, and uh, Brent just step up and kick it. That's all you got to do, big guy. Great offensive maneuvering there by South. I think they got the ball back with about, uh, what was it, a minute 14? Minute 35. Minute 35, and uh, they ran a heck of a lot of plays, Chris. <laughs> Look at all that red down there. It's gonna be second down and 10. Ball is on, we'll call it the 13 yard line. It's gonna be a field goal attempt. See if by Mr. Automatic, Brent Vreeke, the old left footer. See if they call another timeout. They're gonna spot the ball on the 20, and Nina does call another timeout. Good, uh, good call on that one, coach. So two straight timeouts by Nina. I'll tell you, you know, uh, this team has worked very, very hard not to take anything away from Nina, but uh, I'll tell you, Salt has worked so hard all year. You know, it's amazing, and you see this all the way down the line, college, the pros, what does it boil down to? <laughs> Usually it's some little foreign guy trying to take an extra point or a field goal to give your team the win. You know, littlest guy in the team, Breaky, not the littlest guy, but uh, he's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Yep, it's very tough. It's too bad it has to go to this, but uh, everybody on the team counts, including the kicker, and. Uh, just see what happens, and uh, well, it's going to be a 40-yarder. Ball's going to be spotted. No, take that back. On the 20, it will be a 30-yarder. Ball's going to be spotted right on the 20-yard line. It's a 30-yard kick. You know, we've seen Brent kick uh, plenty that far on his extra points. This is distance is not the issue. All righty, another timeout by Nina, and that is the last timeout by them. Wow, this is uh, <laughs> this is almost too exciting, Coach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said it was going to be an emotional roller coaster uh, quarter, and uh, they got all that. There's no questions about that. Well, I, you know, I I don't know if we should apologize or not because I know we got pretty testy with the officiating, <laughs> and uh, for the most part, you know, those guys did a heck of a good job. Well, let's let only do, if South wins. <laughs> well, let's have them do one more official job and put up the hands between the goalposts, and that would be yeah. a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, it's been a heck of a year for South, and uh, I hope we have another week because it's been just such a great ride, and I enjoy being on it. I'm on the wagon with everybody else. Entire South team is kneeling on the sideline and uh, hoping for the best. They'll be clutching hands. They're one unit with their five uh, brethren, with their 11 brethren out there on the field. All righty, Stuby is the holder. Jacob Pfeiffer is the uh, long snapper on this, I believe. Lines are set. Good snap and set. Freaky's kick is good. Oh, liner, no, it goes underneath the crossbar. There's two seconds remaining. I thought it might have cleared it on that line drive kick. 
but it's scooted underneath and a tough break for Sheboygan South. Nina is going to come away with a 7-6 victory, Chris, and uh, in their three playoff games, they've only allowed six points in each game. There's flags down on the field. I think uh, it's first down, and it wouldn't it be sec oh, no, it's a, isn't it's it a second post, down now? Post possession. Well, let's see what happens here. If it's a post possession kick, that's what it is. It's uh, post it's possession that. penalty yeah. after the kick, celebrating. Yep. Uh, that's what it is. It's unsportsmanlike on Nina. Kind of a bogus call, if you ask me. But. Uh, it's going to be a first and 10 ball on the 10 yard line. You know, miracles have happened before. If he fumbles that snap and somehow South can come up with it and run it in the end zone. But there's two seconds remaining. Little is the beat back. He will not get it. And Bahrain takes a knee, and that's the end of the ball game and the end of South's magical 2004 season. Somewhat speechless, Coach. Yep. It's been a heck of a ride and it's just a super job by Sheboygan South. And I've enjoyed the ride and the uh, young men have been so good to interview and uh, such good kids. It's too bad it had to come to an end. And there's a good picture of someone who definitely is a symbol of this team, Will Hartman right there. And uh, I thought it was over the crossbar. Yeah, it looked like uh, it was line, definitely a line driver. It looked like it cleared the crossbar, but the official's right there. Saw it go underneath, and uh, got to give Nina a lot of credit. I'll tell you, they played uh, one whale of a good defensive team and uh, basically stopped the option. Yeah, they did, and uh, South defense was outstanding. One big play by uh, Alex Little was the difference, and... Uh, Well, Scott, let's take a maybe a two-minute break or so. I'll wrap up the stats, and then we'll come back and uh, wrap up tonight's ball game. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic, and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. We're back at South High, and there you see the final score. Nina wins the ball game 7-6. to six. They uh, scored on a 58-yard run by Alex Little in the third quarter. Uh, that gave them, and they kicked the extra point, that gave them the 7-6 uh, lead. And uh, there you see the uh, North seniors lining up on the north end zone. They're gonna walk across the field for the final time their senior year. Uh, Nina has a huge crowd down in the uh, south end zone. And uh, their team is, a, is a, just on the flip side as ecstatic as uh, Sheboygan South is depressed with uh, losing this ball game. Uh, Alex Little came in as the uh, really super back for Nina. He ended up with uh, 29 carries and 120 yards. Uh, South's uh, ace back, Eric Donneville, had 48 yards and 16 carries. Tim Stubbe, who had over 100 yards last week, finished with 20 carries and only 46 yards, Chris, and uh, they really bottled up the uh, option play. Yes, they did. and. Uh Nina's defense was everything we read about and heard about, just as good as the South defense and uh, really made it difficult. South gave themselves a chance, but uh, unfortunately it was not to be. As I said before, it's just been a great run and a joy to watch, especially these seniors here lined up. The last two years, it's just been outstanding uh, football and uh, I know you and I have enjoyed it and talked about it. And, you know, I know it's going to be tough tonight to, to watch, but uh, you may really made the community very proud of, uh, of, you know, you may not think about that tonight, but uh, they should be very proud of what they did, and the community is really behind you. Well, I'll tell you, the community uh, came out on Tuesday night and supported the uh, referendum vote, and uh, they came out in droves tonight to uh, support Sheboygan South in really what was a historic football game in Sheboygan football history. Uh, South finishing up the season with 11 wins and one loss, the most wins by any Sheboygan high school football team ever. 
Yes, and uh, there they are, the gentlemen that did do this, and uh, it is the quarterfinals. I mean, if this was basketball, you'd be in Madison right now, but in football, only the last two make it, and so, uh, you know, this is kind of like a mini state tournament, and Nina will be playing Appleton North. Uh, we want to wrap up our broadcast by saying uh, what a great job the crew has done all year. Andy McKillop on the top camera, Brian Andrews on the field camera, Scott Miloff in the truck tonight, Andy uh, and Kerry Kautzer did a lot of directing too. Uh, Chris Wright was here all season, my partner, Chris, great job. So, what, what a football season, we're not quite done yet. We have a game at Lakeland tomorrow afternoon and uh, I'm Mike Martin saying, Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, it's been great doing these high school football games, and I'll tell you, we can't wait for basketball to start. That's uh, right around the corner, and uh, good sportsmanship being shown right now by the Nina fans as they clear out of the end zone, allowing those South seniors to uh, walk across the field in its entirety. One more time, Nina wins it 7-6 to six for the crew. My name is Mike Martin saying so long, everybody. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this WSCS Classic. A one-play breakdown on defense, along with mistakes on offense against a peaking team like Nina, cost South. Alex Little made South pay for the defensive breakdown, while the defense won the game for Nina. It was a sad ending to a great season for a great team. South finished 11-1 and, and can make a strong argument for being called the city's finest high school football team, although South's 1962 team, rated number one, can also make an equally strong claim to that moniker. Our next classics game will feature South against number one rated Green Bay Southwest in a basketball game from 1998. You won't want to miss that classic. Until then, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you down the road. There are many games that we would love to show but no longer have. If you have a copy of a game that you think could be a classic, please get in touch with WSCS TV at 920-459-6663 and maybe we can get that game into our next classic series.